What's up guys, Robert from Crayon Roshu here, back with another video. As Christmas is right around the corner, the main focus in our family was how to decorate our tree this year. So I decided to try out this twinkly second generation RGB string light. The version that I have here comes with 100 RGB LEDs. It can be used both indoors and outdoors. It has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity and is compatible with Alexa and Google Assistant. But more on that later. Let's open the box and see what's inside. So we are greeted with an instructions guide. power brick this outputs 24 volts with 1 amps constant voltage and I guess the string itself So here it is. Nicely packed. The LED lights seem to have a matte finish. So this should make the lights more diffused. And it comes with a nice grommet. So I guess this should provide a nice watertight seal. So I see that this version has the black wires, it also has two more other versions with the green and transparent wires. In order to control these lights you will have to download the app called Twinkly. And of course you will have to create a user profile. I will just log in with Facebook. And it seems it is already searching for the receiver. So you will have to choose your version of the of the lights. This is the second generation as I mentioned. 
Oh, uh, and you, it seems you also have to have Bluetooth activated. And now you have to hold the button on the controller until the status LED turns to a greenish blue. So I've eventually managed to connect the lights to the app. Even though it was saying no device found when the lights are constant blue, I guess it is connected and you will be greeted with a message saying congratulations you are connected. So it seems the lights have an internal Wi-Fi emitter and the app allows you to either connect directly to that or connect to the lights using your home router. I will choose my home router. So after setting up the lights, I guess it takes you to a setup page where you can set up the lights after mounting them on your tree. The app will allow you to scan your Christmas tree for the position of the LEDs in order to properly be able to display the animations. You will find two scanning methods, a 2D and a 3D one, but in my case I only managed to complete the 2D scanning method. After spending quite a few hours figuring out how to connect the light to the app and a few more hours trying to connect the app to my Google Home, I eventually managed to get everything working. As you can see the lights reflect quite accurately the animation preview from the app. You will be able to select any of the pre-installed animations or download for free additional ones, all of which are editable within the app. Set three lights red. Okay, changing the three lights to red. Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed this content, please consider subscribing and till next time, take care.